In the last lecture, we learned what is a view template and what are the different ways in which we can create a view template for a component. Now, in this lecture, we are going to learn how we can style the HTML of a view template. So here we have our header component and for this header component, this header component.html file is its view template. So wherever we will use this app header selector, there the content of this header component.html file will be rendered. So if I go to the web page, you can see the HTML of that file has been rendered and it looks something like this. Now currently, this HTML is not styled. So in this lecture, we are going to learn how we can style this HTML. So let's go back to VS Code. And in order to style a view template to this metadata object, we can specify another property called styles or style URLs. So let's first talk about styles property. So using this property, we can style our view template. Now to this styles property, we need to assign an array. And inside this array, we can define the style for different HTML elements. For example, if I go to this header component.html, there we have this anchor element. So currently, if I go to the web page, you see these anchor elements, these links are underlined. But I don't want this underline for each of these links. And I also want to add some margin between these links. So let's go ahead and let's do that. For that, what we will do is inside this array, we will specify a string using single quotes like this. And in there, we will specify the HTML element which we want to style. Here, we want to style the anchor element. And after that, we'll specify a set of curly braces like this. And inside this, we can specify the CSS styles. So the first thing which I want to do is I want to set the text decoration to none. I don't want the underline for these links. Okay, then I can use semicolon and then I can specify another style. So I will set margin, top bottom, I will set zero pixel and left, right, 10 pixel. Let's see if the changes. Let's go back to the browser. And now you will see those links are not underlined anymore. And there is a margin between these links. In the same way, here we also have a button element. And for this button element, we don't have any value right now. But what I want is for this button element, I want to add some padding. So I can go back. And this style is for anchor element. After this style, we can add a comma. And we can again use a set of single quotes like this. And in there, we can specify the style for some other element. In this case, now we want to specify the style for button element. So after the element name, we use a set of curly braces. And in there, we can specify the style. So here, I will simply add some padding, maybe top bottom 10 pixel and left right 20 pixel. Okay. Let's save the changes. Let's go back to the web page. And you can see that styling has been added on this button element. So this is how you can style your HTML elements using styles array. In the styles array, you specify the styles for HTML element like this. So here, first we are specifying the style for anchor element. Then when we wanted to style some other element, we used a comma. Again, we specified single quotes. And inside that, we are specifying the style for button element. Now let's say I also want to style this div. And for this div, the class is ecart header. So using this class, I want to style this div. Let's see how we can do that. So I'll copy this class name. Let's go back. And again, after this style, after we have styled this button element, let's use comma. Let's use another set of single quotes. And now I want to style an element whose class is ecart header. So when we want to style an element using its class name, first we need to use a dot. And then we specify the class name. And then a set of curly braces like this and in there we specify the CSS styles. So here let's say I want to set the width maybe to 100% and I want to set the height let's say to 70 pixel. Okay so this is how we can style an element using its class name. Then if you want to style an element using its ID then what you need to do is you need to use a pound sign you need to specify the ID of the element and then you can specify the style for that. So I hope you got the point. So this is how we can style our view template using this styles array. Now here using this styles array, we have a lot of disadvantage. The first disadvantage is that we are mixing CSS with TypeScript code and that is not a good practice. Second disadvantage is that 
since these values are string values here if we miss something for example here if i miss this colon it is not going to show any error so in this case we are not going to have any compile time error we will come to know about these errors these issues only during runtime so this is another problem and third currently we have written css styles only for three elements for this anchor element for this button element and for the div element whose class is ecart header but if we have to write a lot of css in that case this array will become huge and it will be less maintainable and it will just make our code a lot messier and we don't want that right so what are the disadvantages we have with this tiles array first of all it mixes the css and typescript code which makes the code less maintainable then since css is written as a string using the styles property if there is some error we will not know about it during compile time we will only come to know about it during runtime and then if the number of lines of css code is huge in that case it will become messier and less maintainable and that's why instead of using styles array what we can do is we can use style urls so here apart from this styles property we also have another property called style urls so let me remove this style from here and instead of style we can use style urls and the style urls it is also an array but inside this array instead of writing css code what we do is we specify the path of a css file which can be used for the view template so what i will do here is inside this header folder i'll create a new file and again the name of the file should be the component name in this case header dot component dot extension of the css file is dot css okay so here we have created header component dot css file and inside this file we will write all the css which we want to apply on our view template and we will reference this file using this style urls property so in this array we can specify a string value like this and in there we specify the path of the css file which we want to use as a style sheet so in the current directory we have this header dot component dot css file okay now here we are only using one css file for the style sheet but if you want you can use multiple css files all you have to do is you have to use comma and then you have to specify the path of another css file which you want to use here but here i only want to use one css file so i will specify that and now whatever css we write inside this file that will be applied to this html file okay so for this component this header component this file is its view template and this file is its style sheet okay so whatever css styles we write here inside this file that will be applied to the html of this file now in order to save some time i have already written some css so i'll grab it from here okay let's go back to vs code and let's paste it inside this header component.css file so you see this much of css i have written just for header so if we would have been using styles array instead of style urls that array would have become quite lengthy and less maintainable that's why instead of using styles property we are using style urls and there we are simply specifying the path of the file and we are writing all our css in a separate file let's save this file and now what will happen is these css styles that will be applied to the html of header component.html file so now if we go to the browser this is how our application now looks like here we have created a header in that header we have some links we have a search bar and we have a button now this header is not yet styled properly that's because in the next lecture we are also going to apply some global styles to our component currently what is happening is whatever style we have specified inside this header component.css that style will be only applied for header component.html this style will not be applied on any other html file and this is very important to understand in angular when you use style urls property or styles property and using that whatever styles you apply that only gets applied to that particular view template in this case whatever style sheet you use here those styles will only get applied to the view template of this header component these styles will not get applied to any other component 
if any other component is using the same CSS file, then only those styles will be applied to that component. But in this case, since we are using this CSS file only for this header component, this style will only be applied on this header component. It will not get applied to any other component, not even the child component of this header component. Okay, so if you have worked with React, then you know that in React, when you apply some styles on the parent component, those styles will also get applied to its child components. But that's not the case here. Let me actually show you that. So what I will do is I will go to appcomponent.html and in there, I will add a button element. Okay, here, let me simply say, click me. So here I have this button element and this header component, it is the child component of app component, right? Now, if I go to this app component.css and if I add some CSS style for the button, maybe I will simply say background color should be red for all the buttons inside this app component. Then we also have the button element in our header component. So if I go to header component.html, here also you have the button element. And this header component, it is basically a child component of this app component. So when I'm specifying some styles for the button element in the app component, what do you think? Will it get applied to the child components button element also? Let's see that. Let's save the changes. Let's go back to the web page. And there you will see we have this button element and this button element is coming from app component. And there the background color of this button element is red. But here also we have a button element, but this button elements background color has not changed. And that's what I meant when I said that whatever style we specify for a component using styles property or style URL property. In this case, for this app component, we are specifying the style using app component.css file. So whatever style we will specify inside this app component.css file, that style will only get applied to the HTML file of that component. That style will not get applied to any other HTML. In this case, the style which we have specified here inside this app component.css it is only applicable on app component.html this style for this button element is not applicable on header component.html's button okay all right so let me go ahead and let me remove this css style from here let's close this file and let's also remove this button element from here all right so in this lecture we learned how we can style our view template using styles property or style urls property this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day